Wolfie, Wolfie, do you copy? Wolfie, do you copy? Are you okay, dude? Do you copy? Well, I guess that's how you feel when you tumble. Brand new gliders wrecked. I got thrown out of the climb and kind of tove over and tumbled me right over and threw me not even a half rotation, just straight into the sail and took me a while to get my shoot out and I got it out. I was not sure if it's out because it was still fucking honking ass down and then I got my second shoot out like 10 seconds before they hit the ground and um, hit the ground about 20 centimeters next to a massive rock, so fucking lucky and not lucky. You know, your cheeks swollen. Oh, yeah, dude, I hit the ground in my fucking face first. No helmet on, ripped off and. It's all gonna heal. Fucking I'm made out of steel, so it's all good. So it was just a, another normal day of flying really. We'd, we flew at Elsinore the day before and we wanted to go back to get a few more shots that we'd missed and um, set up just as you do. And I, I was the first to take off and I peeled left a little bit to where the, the resident thermal is there and kind of hooked it and I did probably maybe three, four turns and I looked over and saw Wolfie take off, all was good. Um, kept doing my, my thing, just circling up, and then as I was turning out of the corner of my eye, all of a sudden I saw Wolfie going, rolling over and going upside down, and I could see his undersurface, and instantly I was completely shocked, and um, and then I watched him, I thought, come on dude, get, get that shooter, get that shooter, and I saw the shoot come out, but because he was, kind of the way he was spinning, it, it wasn't really inflating properly, he wasn't falling fast enough, and really quite worried for him and then just before impact the chute opened and he looked like he touched down fairly safe and um, I couldn't really see any movement or anything and I was starting to get really really worried and then um, about 10 seconds later I hear him on the radio going I'm all right guys you know and that was a pretty pretty nice moment because I, I thought my buddy could have could have been pretty bad you know so I'm a second generation pilot, I'm flying for 14 years and the air is something unexpected and you know, the, it can just do something weird to you and you just need to be on your game and be ready and and do your emergency procedures when you need to and for me a big part what saved my life was I know where my handles of both of my parachutes are, I practice that on the ground, I practice that in the air. Um, and just stay cool and calm and just do what you need to do to save your life. The first problem of, the, of my whole crash was for sure, which is, you know, rocked up. Even, even John Heine flew there for 30 years. We didn't really talk to him about you know, the house thermal or anything, we just went and went flying and um, that place is called the tuck zone and people got thrown over there before and I was not aware of that and just flew right into it and it hit me too.
think the most important thing is it's hard to say, but stay calm in situations like that and just do what you need to do to save your own life. And in that situation for me it was from my parachute and just get it out as fast as possible. I just had no altitude and I knew that from the beginning. And, um, and the other thing is to avoid situations like that. You talk to local pilots or and don't fly at spots you're not supposed to fly.